Hello everybody, I'm Strategic Primus, and I'm back. This is Rob. We're at war. This time to reclaim the Trident and all our wonderful claims in it. We're finally getting back at the damn Blackwoods and by extension the despicable Wayne. And we're going to uh well, hopefully get some bloody vengeance here. If we're anywhere near lucky, we will. If we're not lucky, well, Danny's going to interfere and tell us to stop being at war in 20 seconds, and I'm going to have the absolute worst fit of just being done with this bull. Anyway, we'll see what, what exactly happens. Our own wars continue. Oh, Danny was at war. She, she can't exactly tell her to stop. To tell us to stop. The errands will join us. Very nice for the errands. I don't have to scream at the the existence of this house and it's all senses fault if they don't join us honestly it's all senses fault anyway we're gathering our troops to winter f danny danny why you do this to me also holy shit she had a daughter this almost never happens holy shit you gotta be kidding me well um here's the thing as much as we need to cl claim back our titles, as much as I want them, um, Danny has 76,000 men and a dragon. Um, I'm not that good. Uh, fun fact, guys. She's riding Drogon. He's 18. I don't think we can kill that. <laughs> he might be able to, but I doubt it. And, um, combined, I'm, I'm pausing here because I need to think about this, I don't think the North and the Vale can hold off the rest of Seven Kingdoms, minus the Iron Islands, which are fucking off and doing their own thing at the moment, um, as they often tend to do in this game, but, frankly speaking, uh, we don't got a chance in hell here, um, unless the entire open realm just sort of determines to bugger off during this war. I very much doubt it, though. Uh, so I'm going to uh, sadly have to do this commanded, which is utterly bullshit. And, uh, sorry, guys. I wanted to give you a nice war. And I'm not allowed to right now. That's some bullshit. Danny, you're meddling. We'll remove her one day. I can usurp so many titles right now. Th this is all live, of course. Um, I, I can't actually do this. Um, I might be able to. I could. Technically, this this is cheating the system, however. And I'm rather against that sort of thing, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but there's a slight bug in the game with the Mega War system where it lets you revoke titles. I could do it for the car hold, but I'm not going to because it's kind of bullshit. Alright, so what are we going to do right now? Right now, we need to, uh, well, make Danny like us more. The reason why we need to do that is, frankly, uh, if she likes us enough, she'll ignore us going to war with the Blackwoods. Only real reason. Outside of this, we need an heir. Uh, a, a real heir, not a weak nephew. Um, that means having a kid. That means not being at war. I know, it's terrible. It's Hornwood. Teach him to inspire the men. Yes, yes, good, good. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. Anyway. It inspires the men, clearly. Anyway. Um... Get me these guys, beat these Ironborn back to the damn sea again. Usually I'm the one rooting for the Ironborn, but this time around it's a no. And there we go on a pile of ridiculousness. What just happened here? You're defending. Yeah, Danny is going to go get the Iron Islands back. Uh, I, I'd love to break free, but uh, that's not happening. Uh, yeah, get her like me more. I don't like this. 
I really don't like this, but we sadly have to put up with this bullshit. I swear to everything that is holy in this world, if the damn Aaron manages to stealth this, I'm going to be annoyed. By which I mean he's declared war while the Liege is at war, which won't last long because the Ironborn are, quite frankly, pushovers in this game. Um, just fun fact, they don't have enough men. Those two get murdered. I don't care, he's a good ghosty. <clears throat> Thinly veiled racism. Older Frey. Let's not start pissing off vassals, man. <clears throat> Jeez. Taking names. We're going to move very quickly here because, frankly, that war I was promising didn't actually get allowed to happen. Get allowed. Be allowed to happen because... Ah, Danny. Yep, low-key trying the stealthy thing, but they forgot there's dragons, also amphibious landings are just bad. Just straight up bad. If you're trying to land amphibiously, uh, do it in a spot without men. Even if you have some of the best commanders known to mankind. It, just, just do it. <laughs> Trust me on this. Holy shit, at long last. Excellent. So yes, this will be very interesting, because technically Jenny's, uh, Jenny, yeah, uh, his elder son is with our brother, uh, so her second son will be the uh, rightful heir. <laughs> Just Game of Thrones things. Cregan Stark has died from the bad case of the flu, and that would be a car Stark. Just for those of you who are not quite caught up with the series here, why are you imprisoned by Danny? I want my kin back, you bitch. Right. Great, enjoy. As that doesn't go well for them. He's died of stress. <sighs> we didn't get our revenge. I wanted to kill this man personally. Eh, I'll have to take it out on her. And frankly, she's 58 years old in the last of her house, so... It, it, we're going to win this. It's going to be hilarious. I also like that they random generated this this dude's name up, and his name is also Wayne. Uh, so this is the the continued Wayneness, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. Clang of the stone, sure. Interesting. We'll see how that plays out. I am of course salty as fuck right now, because I should be uh, stealing back what is rightfully mine. No. So Tristan ended up dead without an heir. Or issue. Who's excommunicated? Are they both excommunicated? Or are they all excommunicated? Okay, good. I was about to say, if every Dornishman gets excommunicated, I'm going to be laughing my ass off. Uh, Doran the Younger here is the heir. And he's going to get the Stormlands and Dorn. That's going to be powerful. We need to make buddies with Dorn. Why? 34,000 men, that's one. Oh no. What happened? No. Really? Oh, okay. No, you're, you're just bailing on a pike. Uh, is Euron dead? Don't, don't tell me. He's dead? Euron, no! I mean, he's a terrible person and a complete shit, but I, I like him for various reasons. Probably because he's a complete asshole. Anyway. Huh. The Iron Smiths are being dumb. Uh, and yeah. Um, Sansa might be dead. Call for the position just because I... A daughter? Really? A, a daughter. I'll take it. Slain is terrible. Uh, let's get him in a Janissa, no, Lana. Lana I might do. Yeah, it's happening. Round we go again. Ugh, fuck. Why? Uh, no. Pretty sure that's how you spell it, but I'm not George R.R. R. Martin. Wait a minute, I can check this. I can check this. 
Yes. Yes. Good. Sorry. Had to check. I'm not good at this. There we go. We have a daughter named Liana who might inherit the North. That could be good for us. Not sure, linearly speaking. What are my odds of getting anything good? Jack diddly shit. That's about what I figured. Anyway, continuing on. And Sansa's dead of pneumonia at 31. Honestly, it might be longer than she lasts in the books. Sorry, I'm unapologetically not for Sansa. She is boring as hell to read. Let's just beat this dude out of the new gift. He'll leave. That's good enough for me. Just, I don't like getting continually raided by Ironborn. Which is hilarious, because I generally play as Ironborn. Various reasons. Y'all are skiddly <clears throat> Oh, what the hell is this? You've won. You... You dirty bastard. You stole the frail lines. Ugh. I don't know whether I should be laughing or uh, done with this bullshit. And of course, the Botleys and Co. are gonna have problems. Not well, just the Botleys. Hmm. Interesting. Damn it, Aaron's. <clears throat> My brother in law. Right, yep. Forgot about that. Uh, Lord Paramount uh, Lance Lannister has tried to have William Lannister of Cornfield, who is also my brother-in-law, arrested, and he has raised his banners in rebellion. As per typical Lannister things, they give land off to other Lannisters all the damn time. It's damn near impossible to actually get, get, get to get a Lannister to give land to anyone else. Fun fact. <clears throat> Don't know why I can't talk tonight. Brandon Nori, he's not bad. I'll take him. We don't need him. But he's not bad. Marry him off to a flint. He could be a counselor eventually. You know, if I ever need to replace Walter Frey for whatever reason. Ramsey would actually be a loyalist. What alternate universe are we in? Who's writing this? Uh, we're not doing that just because I am paranoid. But now we have a backup just in case something happens. Like, oh, I don't know. He ends up dead. That happens all the damn time. <clears throat> Moving on. We lose six money because reasons. <clears throat> the wild dragon Regal is known to attack smaller dragons, and it has been reported recently that he emerged from his lair near Karth to attack his cousin Viserion. Well, brother. Uh, the ravaged corpse of Viserion was found nearby not long after. Well, that's obnoxious. Danny's dragon and Karth have uh, killed each other. Well, one of them killed the other one. And that means that uh, there's only two dragons left in all of existence, and both of them are crazy. Sounds about right. That's just typical us, isn't it? I do love what they've done with this. Sorry. I'll get off SS before I have a massive system crash. I say this because previously, when you were hovering over SS too long, you will have a crash. Not a small one, a large one. Usually when some sort of event happens, usually with Dothraki. Just, that's life, isn't it? Many Mr. Tristan, Mr. Lewin has appeared to have finally died at the ripe old age of too old. <laughs> huh. For the Robert's claim of the trident. Who the hell is Lord Robert? Robert Aaron. Oh. Him. Why? In God's name are you doing that? Okay. You're... Silly, but okay. And you're going to end up dead, but 
Go for it. I now can't do what I want to do. Get what I... Damn it, damn it. Again, these things happen. I knew it was probably going to happen when I started declaring the war. Fun fact, but... Pisses me off every time it happens. Uh, I like the Glover more. Yay! Glovers, the good people. Whenever you need gloves. Uh, Mount Kalen is apparently back under me again. Thank everything. However, he's probably going to end up inheriting. We're running ending up not back under me, which will just piss me off. I can plot to have him whacked. It's not a very Rob thing to do. He's married to his cousin. Hmm. Another one. Sorry, just looking at the... No! Kirk the Good is dead. No! I mean, at least Roderick is still around and he's a fucking badass. No, I want Roderick. Am I not allowed to have Roderick the Ruin? Oh, he's not ruining this. That never happened. Fun facts. Yeah, they're from the... Uh, oh, right. He's under the Glovers now, which makes a lot of sense, even though it's not specifically mentioned. <clears throat> anyway. Actually, no, it is. Is it? I can't remember. Anyway. That game was a long time ago. Oh, boy. What's Danny doing now? Nothing. Good now. I'm starting to think Janessa might like me. You mean the one I brought in for the Nori that I liked to throw into a council role eventually? Rob, you dirty bastard. Yeah, it's good to be Lord Paramount. My wife is pregnant. <laughs> On unrelated news. Uh, yes, that will work just fine. Thank you. Yeah, I already accepted. Deal with it. Sorry. Oh, uh, boy. And he's stolen off the titles. And we seem to have more problems in the Riverlands, namely with Frey's coming after people. Ryman the Second, the young Frey, is um, declared incapable. And, well, his region, I guess, who's Lothar the Lame. Speaking of people declaring others incapable, he's barely capable himself. Anyway. Uh, are, uh, declaring war on the Blackwoods. They seem to be rather pissed to have lost the Freylands. Frankly, I would be too. <clears throat> Lord Walter Blackwood of Study Shore is clearly my vassal, at least by lawful tradition. Lord Paramount Lennox Blackwood of the Trident effectively controls these lands, however, perhaps I should petition Queen Daenerys. Yes, of course. Oh, thank hell. That actually worked. I'm impressed. I'm going to need a uh, loan from the Iron Bank, but yeah, I, I, can, I can do that just fine. Just somebody remind me of a little loan from the Iron Bank before I just, you know, <clears throat> spend it all. Marshal, fetch me the traitor. Clay? No, you're, you're just trying to piss off, bull. Anyway. That means that he is now under me. He is prisoned by him. Which means that I'm going to, uh, yeah, about that. Where's free my dude? There used to be an option. Hmm. Interesting. As winter gets worse in Winterfell, I mean, duh, it's Winterfell. Strangely enough, it's cold here. I'll just flip over to, for terrain for a moment. Aw, they haven't added just snow everywhere during winter. Oh well. I can command you to end your war. Uh, no, please, fight the Blackwoods. Kill them all. Enjoy. Have a grand old time. Do, do, do. Sorry, it's like, is the game going? Of course it is. 
Why did I slow down? I don't want to slow down. Oh, of course I'm going to do it. Melee. Even with the cannibal crazed Mormont. <clears throat> this trait appears far too often, in my opinion, but I'll deal with it. Oh, that's a bad monk. He's with the maesters. Of course he is. You sent a buff dude. Really? Tisk tisk. Charge. Uh, Carlton Umber Burr Island, who is her husband, or second husband. Yeah, good enough. Uh, I'll, I'll do an Umber. Mistake is all he'll get. Avoid his forceful attack, and it's all over. I'm, of course, not gonna kill an Umber and cold blooded. Come on. Come on. I'm not that evil. I don't know if it was a Bolton. I just might. Oh, baby. I get in fit condition, which is just awesome. It adds a little bit of uh, martial, but a lot more dual skill, which is good. Uh, so, um, one mistake. Strike. It's all over. And again, I'm not going to kill a random nobody at a tournament. It's not worth it, guys. Carlton Stock. Well, first up, we already named a son, Eddard II, and he is dead. So that means that we probably should name the next one Eddard. That being said, Bran did die for us. I think this fits much better. And we defeat another dude in the duel. Fulfilling our ambition of having a son there. And I want to become Master at Arms, uh, just for the little buff of Marshall, and because Danny will like us more for Counselor 4. Fun facts. Uh, we can beat the hell out of this dude. Strike. And we do. Victory is mine. I beat him. I've apparently gained stewardship knowledge from listening to some lesser lordling complaining about collecting tithes. Oh, that's good to know. And I've won the tournament. Well, melee. The melee of 8,320, which would be known as uh, 320 after after landing. Uh, the reason for the 8,000 is because the game hates having negative dates. Fun fact. I know half of you guys probably know this already, but, you know. Felt like stating it. <clears throat> Great Lord Paramount Rob. That's an awesome title right there. I and a group of loyalists have been presented have presented an ultimatum to the usurper, Lord Paramount Lennox, the Trident, demanding you rule over the Trident. Wish us luck. Slint, I forgive you for being a slint. Congratulations. At the same time, you're a slint. This is going to get ugly. <laughs> Who is with you on this one? Just... Ryman of the Crossing. Huh. Oh no, here we go. Heron Hall, Feral Market, Maiden Port, Raven Tree, and. Raven Tree Hall, of course, and Shelter. Well, oh, maybe we'll get something done. It's a good fight. We're done with this melee. We've heard at a melee that we are going to be having people fight for us in the Riverlands. It's, it's a good it's a good week. Okay, the week's over. <laughs> I'm just watching these guys. Appoint Counselor. Offer me the title of Lord Treasurer. I'd make a terrible treasurer, Danny. I have nine stewardship. Nine. I don't even have ten. I mean, I'll accept a position, but really? I'm I'm horrified. Um, support me by voting the council in all of your favor. Sure, Lannister. What could possibly go wrong here? Everything, everything could possibly go wrong here. I want four thousand prestige because we're only six hundred away. 
600 change away, but no, 500 change away. I can math. Doy. Ahem, you want me to tell Derek Wayne to calm down? Uh, fuck off. The most polite way I know to say, uh, you're sitting on land that isn't rightfully yours. Um, it's no big secret, Lady Kirana is after my job as Master of Coin. I hope she can have it, but quite frankly, she's already better at it than I am. She asked nicely. Yeah, this sounds like a Rob thing to do. And then get murdered. <laughs> Hey, you, you've you've whacked your brother, you idiot. Let's get you Kingslayer. You know that's how you get Kingslayer. Uh, I've usurped the title of Kingdom of the Trident from Lord Belgrave of River One, who is apparently inbred. That's what you get for marrying cousins, you idiot. Uh, that that um, we didn't even have to shed blood. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. I'm a double Lord Paramount, and I didn't even have to kill anyone for it. That's different. Some people say that you're supposed to play like this. <laughs> that being said, invoke. Since you have claimed that the vassals will not object. Ah, the law is not enabled. I have to get here. Alright, oh, I bend to the will of the seven king. Right. And I don't want her being able to revoke things because she'll just do it freaking randomly. I can usurp it. Oh. Oh, please. Uh, yes. Alrighty. Proof that Sir Quincy Assault Pants has been viciously slandering me. I should use this information. Uh, I don't care. Alrighty. What is it that I have uh, usurped? The city of Riverrun, which is apparently the Lord Paramount Sea, but I, uh, no, no, it's not. It's nope, nope. Here we are. It's quite fine. Uh, I can now give it out to whoever I so desire. Uh, it appears that the Waynes are all dead. Yeah, Waynes have died out. Sadly, we won't get our uh, direct need to uh, kill somebody uh this is an edmund blackwood who is some cousin i think um of, of the main blackwoods um or here still belgrave um I think it might be an uncle might be an uncle no cousins it's the same it's the brother of the study sugar guy i might give it to him he's not bad at diplomacy he has gonorrhea so you, you know he's a good guy i'm kidding of course <clears throat> Hmm, might do it. After all, he's not particularly pissed us off directly. Austin's are pretty useless. The blandishes aren't even a real house. And they suck too. So, yeah, here we go. Giving it right back. City Overrun. Enjoy it. Don't let it go to your thick head. And yeah, we can even repay back the Iron Bank, I'm pretty sure. Not quite 250. Righto, we can get to that. Safe peasant is a productive peasant. That minus to revolt risk is very nice, and I rather do like the prestige, so I'm gonna do that. I'll go and prove my strength. Hi, right. it's been a very productive episode. We've done absolutely nothing, and we've already gained so much land back. We will be needing to go to war with the Lannisters, I don't know why I'm scrolling it out so much, and the Arons to regain these bits, the Freylands and Turnbridge. But we'll get there. Don't worry about it. I, of course, could. I don't technically have a non-aggression pack with Lance over here. Though I do suspect Danny will, um, not take kindly to us, uh, fragrantly, uh, ignoring the whole don't declare war on other vassals thing. Who ended up dead? Hmm. Eh. You died terribly. Anyway, moving on down here. Richard Horp has moved on from being the commander of that. Melees are terrible places. Oh, oof. Oof. Has a wine cellar. Ah, 
excellent little tree right there. Uh, we get to now go deal with uh, Edric Dustin. I think we'll beat him, but he's at least worthwhile here for an old guy. Oh, of course, I'm accepting. He's an old timer. I'm not about to kill him. It'd be dishonorable. 2% chance of formidable fighter. I'm uh, just real quick, not gonna look. And, uh, oh well. And now we get to face Roger fucking Forrester, who's probably gonna kick our ass. Strike? Really? Um, guys, uh, um, um, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we're actually better than him slightly. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rob just says. People beat me in combat? That's cute. <laughs> no mistake. Strike. It's all over. Man, who can't we just kick the ass out of? Uh, that's real good. Come on, formidable fighter. Come on. You know we need it. Again? Ugh. If we get formidable fighter with Rob, I am honestly... I, I mean, we should have gotten it after defeating the mountain, but, you know. Try this again. Strike! All over now. There we go. You beat the tall art. And we've won again. That's two in a row. We're a bad motherfucker. Anyway, we're going to take these pieces back probably next time. Maybe not. Oof. The Waxley got waxed by Danny. Not always a sunny, happy time here, eh? I think we might get a Regency here just by how old Danny is and how young she is. But you never know, really. <clears throat> My lord, news from King's Landing of a trial by combat. So Edmund Waxley, so this is what just happened here, uh, demanded a trial by combat from his captured Queen Daenerys Targaryen, selecting Sir Robert Waxley as his champion. This fellow, he was utterly terrible at wielding a sword, and was slain by his opponent, Master Clasis Yarnwood, who would not be my third choice of defending the throne, but I guess he's better than this one. Uh, and, of course, he won, and this dude got decapitated for the various reasons of clearly being a traitor. Yes, that's how laws work. <clears throat> Rickard the Will Rills outlived Barbary Rizwell, so he picked up the Barrel Lands, making him an extremely powerful uh, High Lord. Well, I'm setting my crown focus to Winterfell, because, duh... Uh, he's my buddy. I remember this. Let's see if we've picked up a better Castellian. I hope we have. We have the not. Um, he's low rank, though. Um, Vance, and he's more important. There we go. I can reserve the trident. Really? For, from the dude I just made Castellian? Uh, can you say no? <laughs> let's let's not. Oh no. Brand's sick. Call a physician. I know he sucks, but call him anyway. Ah, oh, ill treatment. My kid. So these kids struggle. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give her pride probably, just cause. And my cousin, my nephew here. Sorry. I I'm clicking through them all, I'm like, yeah, yes, my, my older, wait, what, no, cousin, no, nephew, that's the word, alrighty, there's a grand tourney in King's Landing, and I've beaten the shit out of every northerner for a very long time, we're going down to that, after all, we're master of coin, time to head down, Lord John Smalljohn has inherited the last river from Tonard. first up, the Small John looks Baller, I uh, buff Santa Claus, kind of like what the Great John ended up looking like. Clearly, his father's son, and well, he didn't have the awesome beard. The Ashwoods have died off. Seems to be a theme around here. I keep setting my crown to focus in Winterfell all the damn time. 
adults have been delanded. So yes, us and the Martells are doing rather good for themselves. The Brathians no longer really exist, near as I can tell. Where are the Brathians? They're not even listed in the claim. Oh, it's Dorn. That's why. Silly me. No, I don't want Dorn. I want the Stormlands. Claimants. Stannis is still around at 57 years old. He's cancerous, though. And Shireen is off in exile in Arkon. Okay, Pentos. Good to know. Didn't know that off the top of my head. Can't know. I don't really know why. It's been a little while since I've fucked about in the SOS. It's been a while, you know. Um, yeah. It's all rather well and good. Where's Edric Storm? The Kingswood, yeah? So he's not even properly out of the continent. Huh. Good no. If we uh, <clears throat> need to replace Danny anytime soon. Nobody has been designated regent. And Rickon wants to do it. You know, Rickon, I owe you one. I drunkenly make friends with uh, Kyle Condon. Sounds about right. <clears throat> Lord Paramount Lancel of the Westerlands has declared war against the tyranny of Queen Daenerys Stormborn on Queen Daenerys Stormborn. You idiot. <laughs> He, she, she apparently tried to have him arrested, probably for being a kinslayer, you idiot. Uh, the realm will, of course, bleed. Uh, remove me from my position on the council? Well, I hope so. I make a terrible master of coin. Uh, I'm, of course, going to defend my liege on this one, just because, um, let's think about this. Uh, he has land that I need, he's an asshole, and uh, he has this one coming. Plus, it's a Lannister. What do you expect me to do? That being said, the Dornish are on the other side, so this might actually be a relatively large conflict here. We might actually have to send men. Then again, Danny has dragons, so this wall will probably blow over rather quickly. The Ironborn are with us. So is the Vale. Good old Aarons. Even though I were, I've been shitting on them this entire video. Uh, the Reach is with us. Quentin Tyrell is finally of age. Seems like forever ago that Tyrells were doomed. Uh, the Danes are here, the Ullus are here, Swans, Darians, the Darians still, that's good to know, Peasebillies, people who really don't matter, <laughs> Macy's I think, no Macy's are against us, right bastards. Um, <clears throat> with us is also the Braxtons, I dare say. Sorry, the Braxes. I don't know why I call them the Braxtons. The Sawwicks appear to be under the pains. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the ash marks are just sitting on their thumbs. They like to do that. All the AI likes to do that, let's be honest. And yes, we get to go deal with a Lannister again. Fun times, right? Uh, sadly, we aren't just able to pick up Turnbridge here like some other Paradox games will allow us to, but, you know, CK2 being CK2. Anyway, I'm going to have to cut it here. I know, we did it again. We're at a war, and we're going to stop. I'm a terrible tease like that. Anyway, hope you all have enjoyed this fine content. Uh, sorry we didn't actually get to fight the last one. I'm terribly sorry about that. But, hey, we did what we came to do. We got it through peaceable means. Namely, uh, the Silence fighting for us. <laughs> and, well, Freys and a few other people. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please like and or subscribe, depending on how you've enjoyed this. Uh, the next one will be coming out rather more sh quickly than this one took to get out. Um, uh, updates and wonderful things will be occurring to the website, and I'll finally get back to actually routinely posting a schedule and adhering to it. Terribly sorry about that, guys. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Strategic Primus. See you in the next one.